Um, I would suggest um, Sharon Bridgeport. She does improvisational theater with the jazz aesthetic. Um, I already see your work really giving the audience agency, so that's very, very exciting um, to kind of tap into you know, the inner instrument. But uh, just check out improvisational theater with the jazz aesthetic. And maybe that'll give you a direction in regards to if you want, I love the paperless construction, um, if you want to construct a narrative or if you want to take people on a specific journey as the conductor or orchestra, you know, orchestrator. Um, yeah, yeah, exciting. So, you need to add smells. This has been a really good presentation, so I think you represented what you're trying to do very well and very cleanly, and um, it makes much more sense for me after this, I feel, um, what your intention is and what you're trying to accomplish. And I would say to answer one of these questions, one sense or senses you might feel or, or what you could work on, I think bringing it to your body, I mean, as a conductor, you've codified all this gestural vocabulary. And in my experience, just in that little bit we did in class, I think working on ways to present that codification more authoritatively, more uh, in different ways, I guess. Like sometimes with great um, gusto and other times maybe even bringing it like dynamic into the presentation of the gestures. Because in my experience, which was only one really weird little bizarre moment, clearly, um, you're, you're, you were trying to teach us quite a few at the same time, and also you just wanted to keep it moving and like get something to happen, and so there was a lot of stress in your body about that. But I think there's the potential for, and maybe this ha actually happens when you're doing it with your actual improvising orchestra, but for tremendous evocative um, physical meaning in your body to you know almost balletically do these gestural this gestural vocabulary. It is a vocabulary, and thus you're creating a contiguous kind of narrative of the body. So that I did haven't seen yet, and I'd be very curious to see you, um, you know, not carry the stress of like, you know, trying to shove something to happen, but rather how it can become fluent and sort of, you know, dancerly almost in its. What do you mean by codification? All your gestures are are memorized and, and repeatable, and you know. Um, so it's interesting that the word conductor is being passed around because what I'm getting is a facilitator, and especially with um, your part that you want to help others find their own inner instrument. Um, I kind of see you at, in, the, in the stuff that I've seen as trying to connect people um, with something that they kind of want to get in tap with anyways. Um, I was bummed that the uh, throat singing clip um, didn't have sound all the way through, but just from the reaction of people and everything, um, it seemed like there was a lot of strong connection and impact going on, and there was a, and it seemed like there was a lot of, they didn't necessarily expect something, and all of a sudden you introduced them to that. Um, I think that the, that, that clip and then the clip um, where you were kind of conducting this group, both really stood out to me, and um, it might be something that you, know, you want to practice with people and see what works, but I mean, I'm, I remember going on um, a bunch of kind of nighttime adventures where someone would kind of be a facilitator. We would go to different locations and just have different sorts of adventures as a group. And sometimes um, there was stuff kind of like what you were doing uh, in that conducting area. I don't know, I see you almost like as this tour guide to location and to self. Um, and I don't know, I think that what was in that first clip and that last clip, there was a lot of magic when it was connected, and I really like that. Okay, this may be completely out of left field, and it's what I always do, but I guess it's all about making a book. That's great. <laughs> Maybe a sound trip. So 
they can take you with them wherever they go. I mean, it's just like so. I'm just. I mean, I feel like I'm crazy. <laughs>
more of you, and I thought that was really great. Um, the, the, the moments that, that really like struck me also were like pretty, which was the interaction in the restaurant to throw the female singing, but also that, that kind of beautiful thing that happens in the classroom when you're teaching and building a community of collaborators. It was, I mean, to me, it really came through, or at least I think it came through, that not only did you have buy in, but like, there was just a beautiful participatory kind of collective action where you were, everybody was doing something new, probably except for you, and they had to trust each other and you in that framework. And it, it, it seemed really powerful. Well, I'm channeling me the so it's not about books. It's about what I'm doing. So, I mean, everybody's right. I mean, it's like they'll go through their own filters. Paul so, and I recently came across a reference to a new interface, which is not out yet, but which is, I mean, there are other interfaces which are just gesture like me, you know, where things like that. The one we looked at was based on muscle tension. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it seems like what you're doing, are you familiar with David Brokenby? He did this piece in the 80s, mid 80s. He developed a piece which used computer vision, which was pretty rudimentary at that time, to sense his gestures. And, and out of that, he created um, a musical instrument, basically, which he, he knew how to play perfectly, of course, because it's his. R O K E E Y. And very nervous system is finishing that piece on it. He's done other things since, of course, but um, so I can't help but see your gestural language as a way to sort of teach the machine how to uh, how to interpret your uh, you know to conduct um, the computer you know music uh, made on the computer, um, which I think would be you know especially since you've taken the public class. I don't know. I think